So it's 3.30 on September 3rd, 2021. Yesterday was my birthday and I loaded the kill. Uh, we started this at about six o'clock this morning. And at this point, what you're doing is, is you're looking at how the flame is hitting inside. Gosh, I wish I could see what I'm doing with this. The little screen thing. I don't know how much of that shows, but what I can see is where the flame is hitting the baffle wall. It's, uh, you get a certain color. And right now the, the fire mouth on these burners is pretty good. They're, it's uh, blowing some good heat into the kill. So we're up to, um, you know, just below a yellow in this area. Sorry. And up above here, you know, we can see in that we're at sort of a yellow. So we're we're not that far along. Here's some cones from another firing. You can see that's a good cone 10 bent at the top there. And that's what we're going to be trying for. So, 3.30 in the afternoon, uh, we'll see how late this goes. Okay. So it's been a long day of firing. It's 12.30 at night, and I'm starting off uh, showing the reflection of the heat on the building. I'm just going to work my way over to the kill. So here are the two fire mouths. Right now it is cone 9 is all the way bent and cone 10 is just barely thinking about it. In other words, there's a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of a bend in cone 10. So the way cones work is they are glass that's been put together in such a way that the scientists know that when a particular uh, piece of uh, cone, when it's set up standing, if it bends over, that it's gotten to a specific temperature. So. When cone 10 is bending, it's 2,345 degrees. So that means this is a little bit below that right now. But as far as we're concerned as potters, the glazes in here have been melted. You can see all the way from the bottom that just the, the glow of the heat coming through that door and then you know the extreme amount at the top and for the fun of it I'll grab a glove and open it so I want to have the right glove and I have to be quick so from there I just come in Look at that. And there, look at the, I'll show you this heat from the side. So when you get near something like this, you have to stay below the heat. Now there's a lot of pushing out uh, of that hole, the bung hole right now, 
so that we can really see what's going on and cone 10 has a bend it's not really going down but it's bending and I'm going to just let it do that for another few minutes I love looking at it from the side isn't that incredible okay so now I pick this up and put it back in you have to be very quick when you do that or uh, the glove will complain but so uh, as I say it's 1230 at night so I'll probably be turning this off something like 1245 and the next thing to do will be to take the burners away and then I have these little shelves sitting next to the kill and they have to get put in that little crack at the bottom of the chimney to stop the heat going out and then after that's done all these bricks that are in the front of the kill will be uh, piled up to keep the heat in and then you can't see that but they're these propane that well you can sort of see there's a hose over there so these are detachable and what I'm going to do is pull them away and put them on the pad for uh, the salt kill which is I'm just starting to build it behind so right now we have a, a cone 10 soft kill and then here is the pad for uh, building a you know uh, instead of a soft kill this will be built out of hard bricks for doing a um, assault assault firing okay you guys I'm gonna turn this off and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow okay everybody here we go so doesn't that look pretty that the piece on the left there is one of Rajiv's flowers and this is the bowl that I was saying uh, I was hoping Elizabeth's decoration would come through and I think you can see that it did behind is a, a porcelain lotus bottle from Rajiv and the one up front there is one of Rajiv's with the with a beautiful flower on it and on the next shelf up this is what we call Tomoku and on the top rim there's just a little bit of Tomba to sort of break through and wake it up in the back over there we got a nice porcelain on the left and a really nice really nice Tomba coming through the middle there and then behind that a Sato and another of my Tombas to the back. Over here we have a really, really nice elephant of Elizabeth. And there's a Sato and then a really, really nice Celadon and that scratching that we were talking about before. I'll do a close up of that, but it's really successful. And then the top shelf, you can see that the cone. 10 as a nice bend on it and I that celadon bowl right there that's never going to be sold that's either going to Rajiv's house or mine but holy moly it's a nice firing and there's one of Sherry's bowls up high Sherry Stevens Grundon came to visit and we made pots together uh, last year or the year before but that was it she comes in January for a visit and I don't know how much with putting the light like this you can see behind but this is an extremely successful firing 